So I'm here now. There's music playing in the background, so I hope that doesn't mess with my um um YouTube doesn't penalize me for it. But I'm here now. This is what the apartment looks like. It's a studio apartment, it's really small and very chic. What I was going for actually. Um so yeah, let me just give you a quick tour. There's nothing to tour really because it's just one space. But hey, um, let's start over here. So once you come in, there's this mirror. Hi. And there's a small space here, which is socket. Yeah, yay. So I can work from there. There's a bedside table. Um, it's the bed. Really basic stuff. Um, the iron, ironing board, hangers, all the stuff that you need. I'm only here for four days. So yeah, um, this is the kitchen. If I need to make anything, um so i hid my luggage here so that it doesn't mess my <laughs> my tour but hey and there's just pods and coffee makers and all of that all of that complimentary water there's a tv i like these lights it's cute so if there's anything in the fridge whoop Ella. anyway um bathroom another mirror where's the lights um, so this is a basic bathroom here we go yeah heading out for dinner I wanted to you know like go on Google look for places to eat and all of that recommendations I saw some places but I think I'll just go by myself and just figure it out like I'll just find some place that I like and just stay there. So, hang up now. So, the restaurant that I wanted to eat at, I think there's a wedding happening. I just saw the bride and my like, bridesmaids and everything. I think it's a wedding there. Um, so I'm just gonna go somewhere else and see what they have. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've just seen this Italian restaurant. I, the first time I had um, carbonara, oops, the first time I had carbonara was at, it was in Egypt. You probably watched my, if you watch my Instagram stories, I cleared the plates. That was at the restaurant, the Italian restaurant at the Fairmont in Egypt. It was just kiss. I thought that I was like, you know, every time I go to an Italian restaurant, I'm just going to order what I know. That's what I did today. And I was so heartbroken. Like, you know how something is so familiar, you're like, oh, you just do this one because it's safe. Only for me to now order the safety and I don't have to pack it for me, I packed it and brought it back here. It's here. Packed it with the bread. I'm so angry. Anyway, so it was really crappy. Um, but in case tomorrow I'm so hungry and I forget how crappy it was, I could just eat it. Um secondly, let me tell you guys about what I'm doing here and how I'm able to visit two countries for the price of one. So the miracle formula 
it's not even for me like per se let me bring water for this one <laughs> but the whole thing is um stop over programs they're called stop over programs so what you want to know about stop over programs um is one the flag carriers of the country that you want to visit could have a stopover program. So, Qatar's flag carrier is Qatar Airways. England's flag carrier is British Airways, right? Um, Ethiopian's flag carrier is Ethiopian Airlines. Um, some countries don't have their name in the airline, you know, in their flag carrier. For instance, Germany's flag carrier is Lufthansa, right? And, you know, you wouldn't know that. Um, because it's not right. It's not like German Airlines or German Airways. But, um, even Panama's airline is... Copa Airlines. Is it Copa Airways? Copa Airlines. Copa Airlines. Yep. And that's why I flew on this trip. Hey guys, so editing Alma back with another PSA. Um, my travel company Kajago is organizing a group trip to Panama in April from the 18th to 24th. And let me tell you, this is the perfect opportunity to make good use of everything I'm going to talk about in this video. Copa Airlines has a stopover program, so you can use the opportunity to visit other countries in the region like Colombia, Peru, Brazil, Costa Rica, Belize, Puerto Rico, you name it, you know, you just go on and on. There are so many countries that you can visit. And the best part is Panama is visa free to you if you have any of these visas so you don't need to worry about a visa and some of the countries in Central America as well are visa free to you like Costa Rica, Puerto Rico um, and a couple of other countries there I'm going to leave a link I'm going to leave a link in the description to um, give you an insight into what you can do but it is the perfect opportunity again I say it's a perfect opportunity to make use of this um, stopover program to visit two countries for the price of one I can't wait to see you in April so on this trip i'm visiting panama and cuba but what i did was to go on copa.com like copaairlines.com and then i am doing I, like i'm taking advantage of their stuff of our program so what a stuff of our program basically means is that you know how you travel um and you have a layover so two ways you could have a direct flight so if you, let's say you want to go from lagos to london you could have a flight that goes six hours straight from lagos all the way to london no stopping nothing if you have a stopover that means that you first fly to one country stop over go into another flight and then which is called a connecting flight go to another flight and then continue your journey so if you flew ethiopian airlines for instance you would go from lagos to ethiopia you go to addis ababa and then you get off the flight get on another flight and then fly from addis ababa to london so that's a stopover right usually those stopovers are about one hour two hours could be six hours eight hours you know it could even be 20 hours some airlines have really really long layovers but some airlines will tell you okay since you're going to be stopping over um in our country instead of stopping here for one hour two hours and staying at the airport why don't you stay for four days like stop over for four days and stay in the country explore our country spend your tourist money here as well that kind of thing so that's what a stopover program is some airlines offer stopover programs Qatar Airways currently they offer stopover programs yes um copa airlines iceland um air i don't remember what's called i think it's iceland air um british airways has a has a has a variation of it i'm not sure the full um but I'll, I'll leave it in the description if i find it um so basically what i'm doing right now is with copa airlines so what they do how it technically works is you're paying for one ticket just for an extended labor like you just get an extended labor so the same price that you'd have paid if you were going for just um lagos to london um with a one hour labor in between it's the same price that you'll be paying for going from lagos to london with the four day labor in between so that way you actually spend four days in the country like the country that you're laying over in uh, i don't know if that's the word in the country that you're doing labor in you spend four days five days sometimes they give you up to a week right but then there's a duration there's a maximum duration so you spend that long in the country and you end up visiting two countries for the price of one so it's the same cost of tickets it's the same thing but you have more time spent in this new country so what i'm doing is panama and cuba i went from toronto to uh, panama usually if you're just booking a normal ticket um, a normal ticket with like a regular layover your final destination is where you pick up your luggage right but when you select a stopover program they know to drop your luggage in um panama in this case um so that you can pick it up in panama and then yeah but actually i'm traveling with a carry-on only for the two countries so i didn't really that really didn't 
bother me but yeah tonight i'm just going to do some work and then go to bed tomorrow i have a few stuff to do i wanted to go by myself to the panama canal and you know see i'm in my maritime era i don't even know why that's like i first went to Belfast, went to the ss nomadic you know titanic and all the white star vessels and everything and now i'm going to the panama canal i'm just like okay yeah, yeah i'm in my maritime era anyway i'm actually for the top um the point of this part of the video is for you to take take for you to take advantage of stopover programs they are there they are quote-unquote free and they're very accessible if you're looking to visit more countries and you want to um you want to do that on a budget these days like travel is no longer like budget budget like that but we move regardless so if you're looking to visit more countries and you know you just want to um save money on flight tickets then you should consider doing stopover programs with airlines that have them so if you want to go to um say you want to go to saudi for instance um on qatar airways stop over in qatar for two three days do that some of these stop over programs require you to have certain visas so make sure that you check the requirements and everything make sure that you are um eligible and you can do them okay so i'm visiting panama right now without a visa but it's visa free for me and for anybody who has either a us uk or canada visa there are certain um, restrictions. I think you have to have visited the country that issued your, the, the visa. So for instance, if you have a US visa, you have to have visited the US with that visa and it has to still be valid for a period of time um, after you've left Panama. So um, same thing with Cuba as well. Um, you have to have an active, valid, multiple entry, US, UK, Canada, I think Schengen visa, some of those visas, but I'll leave the details in the description as well. Um, that's it for this video. Um, I would do another whole vlog about, you know, um, about my time in Panama and everything I get up to if I get around to actually making the video because I'm exhausted already. But, um, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Also, before I go, if you want to visit Panama and you think, um, this will make a very good destination for you. Visit the link on your screen here and you find out everything you need to know about preparing for your trip to Panama. I'm not sure what that sound was. There's been like fireworks since I got here, but yeah. Anyway, so I'll see you in my next one for real this time. Bye!